In the new year, they don't have to change the names on City Hall signs or rearrange furniture in the mayor's office as Byron Brown starts year 17 atop the Queen City's government. I'm Dave McKinley in for Scott and Mary Ellis after that rather rip-roaring campaign against Democratic primary winner India Walton. Buffalo's write-in champ is back for another round. Channel 2's Ron Plants asked some tough but interesting questions today. I, Byron W. Brown. With only his family and obviously the judge present, the toned down COVID restricted swearing in ceremony for Mayor Byron Brown this morning at the Theodore Roosevelt inaugural site may have matched his more toned down approach to governing after his gutsy write in campaign against Democratic Socialist and Progressive backed candidate India Walton. Mayor Brown promising more development for all neighborhoods, affordable housing, inclusion and diversity. But just as many developers and conservative elements implored him to stay in the race, he was pressed today on how he would address the oft-mentioned poverty issue for Buffalo residents. In response, he mentioned there could be some government aid at all levels, but the lifelong Democrat also quickly brought up his own family's meager background and hard work ethic. They helped get themselves out of poverty. They did not rely on the government to do it. Considering his unusual mix of campaign backers for his unique campaign, I asked, are you leaning more towards the Republican Party and a conservative approach now, even though you are declared Democrat? I've always been a centrist. And I think in this election that we just came through, uh, the majority of people in this community, in this city, were saying, that they wanted someone who was in the middle. They did not want a socialist. They did not want a far left entity. But at the same time, we have seen the destruction uh, from the far right. Uh, so I'm going to continue to focus on the middle and bringing people together. Interesting on uh, Mayor Brown's staying power, if you will, the mayor who is in his 60s was also asked today if he would consider running again in four years. After then, he would be 20 years in City Hall office. So he brought up the point that our recent presidents have been serving well into their 70s, and he feels, quote, energized. So who knows? Happy New Year to everybody out there. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News. Dave.